Hello everybody, just a very quick update on the Mac 5. So, uh, spirit of full disclosure, I have no relationship whatsoever with the Military Armament Corporation nor any other uh, firearms related company. So everything I'm telling you, I'm not paid whatsoever. So I just got this yesterday from my FFL, which uh, yesterday is 20, was 26 November. 2025. So I wanted to give you an update as to where the Mac 5 is in terms of quality control and such in late November 2025. So I have a set of feeler gauges. I uh, the, the bolt gap, I measured it at precisely 19 thousandths of an inch, which is toward the upper side of the spec, but the gun is new and it's not worn in yet. Still in spec, but it's 19 thousandths. There were reports some time ago of there being zero, like there was no gap whatsoever, literally. Uh, but again, it, Mac seems to have ironed this out, and it's 19 thousandths of an inch. And I wanted to show you wells. So some of the earlier iterations, I saw some pretty nasty wells. Let me get to focus here. So you can tell that. So I also they've gone from a MIG weld to a TIG weld. So, so that's on the bolt carrier. Let me get this here, right there, the rear sight. It's very hard to see, but you can see that is definitely a TIG weld. That is not a MIG weld. Okay, let me flip it over. And similarly there, you can see that is a very nice TIG weld. So uh, Mac has gone from so I did some chatting with ChatGPT. I'm a big fan of ChatGPT, but sometimes ChatGPT gets it wrong. So according to the to the ChatGPT, there have been three major either engineering changes or batches or lots. Okay, so you would think maybe it's one continuous production process and and so forth and so on. But like in medicine and food, there are a lot. So if you change an ingredient, you have to change the lot number. In manufacturing, it's generally considered an engineering change, but it's the same principle as food and medicine. It's basically a lot, okay? So what happened is, according to ChatGPT, we are in the third iteration of the Mac 5, the third engineering change. And I can tell you this, it's it continually improves is my point. So we've gone from a zero bolt gap to now a 19 thousandths of an inch. And we've gone from some ugly MIG welds to some very, very good TIG welds. So that's all I have. It's a very brief update. And uh, I will let you know at the range. I'm going to investigate this further, this LLC, low, left, clockwise. I'm going to show you how to adjust the sights properly. And also, I'll show you how to adjust the windage and elevation on this thing in the real world. Okay, not theoretical, but I'm going to go to the range first. I'm going to make sure that right what I think is going to happen actually does happen. So when I come back, I'll show you some targets, how I got on to the bull, and so forth and so on. Okay, thank you for joining me here. So the again, just to just to reiterate, according to JetGPT, this is we are in the third iteration of the Mac 5 since it, it began production, and things are looking very, very good. And again, I am not under any influence. I'm not an influencer. I'm not paid, so forth and so on. Thank you very much.